tomorrow. Kevin. So caulking tips, what do you got for me here? Oh, let's start by saying that you see cracks all over the house. Yep. Top of the baseboards, around the door case, and the windows, everything, everywhere. It is, it is to be expected, and it's part of the painting process. Absolutely, we do this every day. But okay. one thing that I see people doing a lot, and I am not crazy about, is they cut the tip too big, uh -huh. okay? And they just start to caulk, and just like that, and they put up actually lots of caulking. You don't need to go that crazy. And then- It's a pretty good line though. I, I will say that's a pretty good line. It looks straight, yeah. right? But wait until you see this. Oh yeah. The and then you have to press the caulking right oh. into the opening right there. All right? Seeing that, to that's me a that's a waste. That's the money right there. And then you have to clean up all that caulking that's spread all over the place. Yeah, okay. See? No good. So, so what do you like if that's what okay. you don't like? Okay, here's what I like. We start with the brand new caulking tube. Check that one out. This is no go. Right, and we're gonna use this brand new one. And you actually don't need an achillite knife because you get a blade right there on your caulking gun. So you said you don't like it when they cut it too big. I didn't think that hole was too big, but you want a really, I guess you want a hole based on the, the crack you're trying to fill. Absolutely, you're gonna measure the, the, the openings over there on your surface, and then you cut it right there at the size that you so need. So let's see how small you will All actually right, I'm go. I'm just gonna here. go this little much here. Can I check that out? That's it. Oh, that's not much at all. Right? Okay. And then here, we have a pierce that we can insert right in here. Because there's a seal at the end of the tip. There's a seal right here. Two. Yeah. Boom. That's all you need. Okay. Put that back in, put the tube in place, and flip this side, which you're gonna go against the surface. Yeah. And we go just like this. So now I wanna see this technique. With my index finger, I'm gonna place it right there. I'm going to release the caulking at the same time, I'm gonna press it in right into the gap. So you're still using your finger, but you're actually pressing the tip That's instead of actually pressing the wall. Absolutely. Huh. And I'll let the trigger go. So in this case, you've got a much smaller bead, but you've also pressed it into the little corner. The caulking is right in that opening. Which is where you want it to be. Okay. Ooh, that's so, a nice little line right Nice there, little Mark. line, just wipe it off a little bit in here, and right. it's gonna be another hour or two to dry, it'll be ready to paint. So we're talking about a very small tip, it's fitted for the size of the actual gap that you're trying to fill. Absolutely. And don't use the goopy finger. Don't use the finger, look at that. Look at your fingers. Yeah, I know, well, I promise I've never done that. You promise? But I'm you gonna sure? do that. This is good. All right, thank I you. I like that, thank you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.